Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhoneDev.tv. I'm going to do a swift tip here. This is if you're using a UI text field and you want to do something to validate input. So I've got this code here. And what I want to do is I want to type in a, the correct password. And then I want to enable a button and then I want to do something. So I'll change the background color if that's the case. So let's go ahead and learn how to do this. What we're going to do is we'll type the secret and we should be able to enable the button and then tap the button and do something with it. So let's jump over to code and let's learn how to set this up so that we can enable a button based on the input. So as you can see, I can't enter the room again if I enter invalid data. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that. All right, so I'm going to start with a new project and I've got the interface already laid out. I put on the auto layout. So if we just stop and run this, we'll see pretty much the same thing. The buttons all enable. We need to disable that and set up some logic to validate input. So I want to grab input from here and I want to type in a special secret and see if we can enter the room. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that logic. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is set up some connections. I'm going to go into the assistant editor. So we'll jump right over here and we'll connect our text view and we're in the manual mode. Let's switch back to automatic. We're going to connect our text field in the button. And we want the action. All right. Now you don't actually use the text field delegate here. We're actually going to use one of the action methods on it. And we're going to, again, take a right click and drag. That's a two finger tap and drag on the trackpad or a right click and drag, or you can do the control left click and drag. Any of those work. We're going to drag that over. We want to do an action. Now you have to select the right action. There's a bunch of different actions we have for the text field. The most important ones are going to be the editing ones, and it's not going to be the value change that we've seen in other examples. It's going to be the editing change. So make sure you select editing change because that's the one that you need. And here we are going to say text field did change. Let's call it editing did change. Something like that. Just be descriptive, connect it. Now, just to test it out, let's print the value. And we can do that by just grabbing the text field dot text property and putting it into a print statement. And we can just start typing. And what we're going to see along the bottom of the screen, we're going to see each of the key presses. So this gives us a hook in which we can validate input. So I can just keep on typing. and I can write my name. All right, so that's how we can hook into it. Now we need to validate. So in order to validate, let's add a method to validate. It's going to return a bool, and it's going to take a string parameter. We'll just call it validate password. We're not going to hide the characters. We're just going to do this super simple. I'll just call it text, and this will be a string type, and we'll return the bool. This is going to allow us to have a result here. So I'm going to have a variable called result. It's initially going to be false. And then we're going to test it and we're going to return the result. All right, so we want to test this versus our known password. So we can just pick one right now and run with it. So if the text is equal to our secret password, we can just type whatever we want here. It could be your name, whatever value you need. Otherwise, we want to do something else. So we have our if else condition here. And actually, we don't need an else condition since I've set this to false up above. We'll have an else condition elsewhere when we actually use this method. So if the text is equal to secret, our result is going to be true. And we're going to just set this to true and we'll return our result at the end. All right, so that's how we can validate. This is a basic validate. You can add a lot more logic. You can validate different fields. You can have different text fields that you connect and, and run different methods to make sure that you have good input. Now what we need to do is in our text field editing did change. We want to call our validate password all the time. And we want to pass in our text field 
dot text. So we'll just throw that in there. That's going to give us the text that we can validate on. Now this returns a bool, so we want to do some logic based on if we actually have a valid password. What we're doing here is we're separating the code so that it's a little bit more reusable and easier to read. So if we validate the password, if that's going to be true, this is the correct password. Otherwise, it's going to be false. So if it's the correct password, what we want to do is we want to enable the button. So we'll just say, and we did not add the button. So let's go ahead and add the button. So we're going to drag this over to the top. And this is our button. So there's our outlet for our button. And I'll move this one up top as well for our text field, just so they're next to each other. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, the button dot enabled is equal to true. And then we can disable it if it's a, a bad password. So this way, anytime they're typing something, you can always be checking the value and you can use that value to do something in your UI. And when the button is pressed, why don't we just change the color so it's very obvious. So we can just say view.backgroundcolor is equal to UI color and we'll go with a green color. All right, and so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and test this. If you have any errors, pause the video, try and fix them. And we're gonna type in a value. Now, you'll see that it went it invalidated, which is good while we're typing. So my name doesn't work. We type secret. We, whoops, that doesn't work. Um, if I do a lowercase, it's gonna be case sensitive. So we are going to type that and now it enables. Now in order to get the behavior you want, so it's disabled on start, in the view did load, you need to disable the button. So all we do, and now we can run it again, and we will see that the button is disabled. I can't tap it. If I can type the password, too many is not gonna work. So just one, we can enter room, we can change the password. So that's how you can leverage the text field. It has the property, if you right click on it, you can see that we have an outlet connected for the editing changed event. And this is important. You have to do the editing change to get the text as you type it. And along the bottom, you can see how as we were typing, it prints a new line with each character. And when we get the password right, it allows us to enter. All right, so that is simple validation with a UI text field using the editing did change event.